2000, no, yeah. 94. 94, wow, yeah. it's old. Dodge and Trap, a 3.3 V6, 250,000 miles. Timing gear and chain assembly, as you can see. Now, they've pulled the water pump and cover all off. The chain is tied on one side, okay. But on the other side, look how loose that is. That's called timing chain slack. This guy is definitely stretched. Cam timing is not correct, you know, not as correct as it could be. Okay, so having said that, go ahead and turn the crankshaft against its normal rotation or counterclockwise. And watch how much it turns. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, go a little bit more. Okay, good. Now, what I want to do now, now I'll have you a reverse direction of your wrench. Go real slow so you can watch how much the crankshaft rotates before the chain slack tightens back up to turn the cam. Whoop, that's good. Okay, back off and do that again. Go kind of slow. That's, okay, now let's go the normal forward direction of engine rotation. So the camshaft timing is behind what it normally would if the chain was new and tight. One way to look at that, if you look down inside the valve cover, you can, and go ahead, and we'll see if we make a good angle on the camera here. Hmm. Go ahead and turn, we'll watch the rocker arm move up and down, hopefully. Got to get a better angle here, maybe. Okay, bring it back now. Now bring your wrench in the crankshaft rotation back the other way. See what you do is you you can turn the crank just by watching the rocker. I'm not turn the other way. Okay. What I'm trying to say is there's a delay. Go ahead and turn the crank again. Whoops. <laughs> I got my camera away. Clockwise. Bring it back towards your counter. Counter more. Good. Now go clockwise, just enough to take the slack out. Then go counter. So what you do is you turn the crank back and forth, back and forth, and see if the rocker arm will directly correlate with rotation or is there some slack. 